Hey art friends, today we're gonna draw a flower. What kind of flower? A prairie rose. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're gonna use both a pencil and a marker. You also need... Some paper and something to cover with. Yeah. All right, you ready to start? Yes. We're also using marker paper. That's because we're gonna color with markers at the very end. But you could use whatever kind of paper you have. All right, let's first use our pencil to draw guidelines for our flower. We can start by drawing a circle. This is the general shape of our flower. Let's draw one circle. I'm gonna press hard too, so that our art friends can see the shape on the camera. But you could also press lightly so it's easier to erase at the end. Now you could draw, yes, draw it a little <laughs> bigger. You knew exactly what I was gonna say. And then you could erase the first line. Now let's draw another shape just like that, but I'm gonna aim it or angle it different. I'm gonna tip it the other way. Go over it a couple times just to make sure that's the size I want. There you go. Yeah, I like it. And then you could erase the first line or the smaller line. Let's add one more flower right here in between. Now these shapes up here are a little squished. The circles are a little squished. They look more like ovals. And then this one, I'm gonna make more like a circle. I'm gonna make a little bigger. And this one's not as squished. Maybe this one's facing right at us. Next, inside of each of these shapes, we're gonna draw the center of the flower. And we're gonna draw the same shape, but smaller. I'm gonna draw it this big for the first one. Then we're gonna draw the same size over here for the second, and then a circle in the middle for this one down here at the bottom. Now we're gonna switch to our marker, and we're gonna add the details to our flowers. Right now they just look like um, eggs. Yeah. <laughs> Breakfast eggs, okay. <laughs> Let's draw the center texture on our flower. This one up here, we're gonna draw little ovals inside of the small oval. And you don't have to make it look exactly like me. We're just going around and adding a bunch of little ovals. I think these are called stamen. Now it looks like a kiwi. <laughs> Inside of here, we're gonna draw a smaller circle. And then we can draw little lines that come out to connect from the center circle out to those smaller ovals or smaller circles. Now let's draw the petals. And we're gonna draw them. Come, let's first draw a line coming out to the outside guideline. Then right at the end, we're gonna curve around and then come back in to finish the petal. Now we're gonna repeat that same step. We're using the guideline so that the general shape of the petals makes a circle. This time, when we come out to the guideline, let's curve around and we can add a, a few little wiggles and then curve back in. Yeah, that looks really cool. <laughs> I like that one. Now let's add three more petals going all the way around. This part we're gonna speed up a little bit. We can go a little faster since we're just repeating the same steps. This one, this petal I'm gonna draw more simple and then maybe this one up here we can add even more ripples. Next, let's repeat all of those same steps onto this flower, these guidelines over here. We're going to first start by drawing the stamen or these little ovals that go around the center guideline. I could also add the center circle and then draw lines connecting out to each of the smaller circles or ovals. And we are going faster because we're just repeating those same steps. I like repeating because it gives us a chance to practice. Mm -hmm. All right, now let's add the petals. We're gonna come out, around, and then connect back in. I'm gonna do that again, but this time maybe make, I'm gonna make this one look kind of like a heart. I noticed in some photos, the petals look like hearts. Do that again. So we got three petals. I'm gonna add two more. This one I'm gonna add more ripples and then another one right here. I love that your flowers look different than mine. <laughs> it looks awesome, Hadley. Thank you. 
Let's do the same thing for our third flower. So we'll add all of those little ovals around the center guideline and the center, and then lines connecting out to those smaller ovals. Remember to pause the video if you need extra time. Then we can draw the petals coming out to the bigger guideline, curve around, and then connect back in. Going to do that four more times for a total of five petals. This one I barely had enough room, so I, I just drew the end of the petal, and maybe it's overlapping the others next to it. Now let's switch back to our, our pencil. We're going to use our eraser to erase all of these guidelines. Now we're ready to draw the stems. We're going to use our pencil again to draw the guidelines for the stems. Let's start up here at the top and we're going to draw a line that starts at the center of our flower and we're going to come down to about there or they could go anywhere. Let's draw it. I'm going to draw it further down like that. Then I'm going to draw this stem coming from this, this flower, the center of the flower, coming down and then connecting into that one. And then we can do the same one right here and connect it to the same spot. These three stems come together right here and they're all branching out from one stem that goes down to the bottom of our paper. Yeah. Now we could also draw stems come branching out. This is for the leaves. So we'll draw one coming out to the left. And let's also draw one coming out to the right. But we could also draw more, maybe a branch that comes out here. That looks really cool. Now let's add the leaves on these stems. First, we're going to draw just the general shape to the leaf. So we're going to draw a curve that comes out and around and then back in. Looks like a football shape. Yeah. And you can even add a point at the very end. Let's add more leaves. So first, we'll draw the center of the leaf. We're going to draw one coming out here. Well, let's add a couple coming out the bottom of the stem. And then we're going to draw a couple coming out the top too. Then let's draw the leaf shape. We're going to start here on the stem, curve up to the top, and then curve back. Well, I said top, but curve <laughs> down to the bottom and then back up to the top. There you go. So this line right here can curve back in to the stem. Let's do that for all of these little branches that we drew. So I'm, I'm going to draw these a little longer so that the shape of the leaf can be bigger. And then let's do the same thing. I'm going to go a little faster. We're going to draw more leaf shapes on the top of this branch. Yes, just like that. Let's do that same thing on this uh, branch right here. I'm going to draw the shape of the leaf that's on the end of the branch. So we can come out and then back in. Make sure there's a point at the end. Yeah. Then I'm going to add the center of more leaves coming out of this branch. And then we can draw the shape of the leaf going around each of those smaller guidelines. You, you can add as many leaves as you want. You could even add more branches further down. You could even add less leaves or less branches if you want to keep the lesson a little easier. Good job, Hadley. <laughs> add two more. You're doing great. I really like how that leaf is overlapping. All right, let's add more leaves on this last one. And this part, we might even speed up. But remember to pause the video and take extra time to add as many leaves as you want. That's a lot of leaves. All right, now we're ready to switch to our marker. And we're going to use these guidelines to help us create the shape of our leaf. But the leaves are spiky. They have little jagged edges. So let's start on this one. 
I'm gonna start on the edge and I'm gonna draw the spikes, but I'm using the pencil or the guideline to help me make that curve or the shape of the leaf. Doesn't that make, that makes it a little easier. Yeah. If we didn't have those guidelines, our shapes, the shape of our leaf might look kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> so that's an easy step for one leaf. We could even draw the center of that leaf. But before we draw more of our leaves, let's do the stem first. I got a little ahead of myself. <laughs> We're gonna switch to our eraser. We're gonna erase the guidelines of the stem that's going over the flower. So I'm gonna erase right here, for example, and we can erase over here. We're not erasing the stem, just the part that goes over the petals. So yeah, this stem that's coming through right here, let's erase those guidelines, and also this one over here. Then we can sweep off the shavings for our eraser, and we're gonna switch back to our marker. We're gonna draw the stems next, and we can use the guidelines. I'm gonna trace on top of the pencil, but you could also make the stem thicker and draw the line right next to it. Isn't that cool? Mm -hmm. Let's do the same thing over here on this one. I'm gonna draw right on top of the stem and stop here. Let's make that stem thicker. You could even leave this part off if you want to make it a little easier and just draw a line for the stem. And then let's do this stem right here. Add two lines. Yeah, and that one too. I'm gonna draw two lines for that stem. Let's also extend the stem all the way down to the bottom of our paper. Now on the branches, let's just draw a line to keep the, to keep the drawing a little easier or a little simpler. So we can just draw that line going all the way through the end of the leaf. And let's do that for all of the branches coming out. Okay. Now we're ready to do the rest of our leaves. So let's start by drawing the center of the leaf. And, oh, we already have the center of this leaf too. So I'm gonna start at the end, draw the little spikes at the edge of, e of the leaf, and then we'll draw spikes on the other side to complete the shape. We have a lot of leaves, so this part we're going to fast forward, but just use those same steps to draw each of our leaves. We finished all of our leaves. Well, that was a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we also used our eraser to erase the guidelines left on each of the leaves. Now we're ready to switch back to our marker for one last step. We need to draw the thorns. Yes, let's add thorns. We're gonna just add little spikes sticking out right there, and you can add these really wherever you want. I'm gonna add just a couple on each of the stems. What should we do next, Hadley? Color it. Yeah, this part we're gonna fast forward one more time, but at the end you can pause the video again to match our same color. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. we did it we finished coloring and drawing our prairie rose your drawing is so beautiful thank you we used our biannual markers and what colors did we use Hadley uh, R607 yeah that's the pink kind of red color we use for the petals the yellow we use is Y248 not even close <laughs> <laughs> Y204 <laughs> and then the green we used is <laughs> no, it's G515. <laughs> if you have the same markers, you could use the same colors, or you could use whatever you have at home, like oil pastels or even crayons. Or paint. Oh, paint would be really cool. We hope you have a lot of fun drawing your prairie rose. We do. We hope you had a lot of fun, and we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.